Good morning, guys. I am just going over your work for this week. I'm turning up some of this music so you can hear what I'm listening to back here. This week, we are going to be learning about a composer by the name of John Williams. And if you recognize the music behind me, it is from the movie Harry Potter. John Williams is the composer of the music for that soundtrack. So any of the instrumental music that you hear behind the actors in the movie, they are written by a man named John Williams. So we're going to learn about him this week. And you're going to do a little listening activity for me, adding on from some of the information we've learned so far and just telling me kind of what you think about it. OK, so I'm going to read this little blurb that's right here um, so that you can understand where we're coming from and to learn a little bit about John Williams. I'm just turning this down just a little bit so you guys can hear, but then you can hear my voice, too. Oh, that's called dynamics. Hmm. OK, John Williams was born on February the 8th, 1932 in New York. At the age of 20, he joined the Air Force and wrote music for their band. He studied piano at a famous school when he left the Air Force band. After studying music, John Williams wrote music for a lot of popular movies and won many awards. John Williams is still alive. He has written music for TV, for movies, for the Olympics, for newscasts, lots of amazing, cool, interesting things. Over the next little bit, we're going to learn about John Williams and his life and some of the com compositions that he did. For today, I want you to take a listen to this piece of music and you are going to tell me what you hear, okay? It's not going to be about writing. You are going to tell me with color what you hear. So let's take a look here, okay? For his hat, you are going to tell me if it, the music is fast, you are going to color it purple and yellow. If the music is slow, you are going to color it blue and yellow. Now, when we're talking about fast and slow, we are talking about tempo. Remember our elements of music. Tempo means fast or slow and sometimes moderato, which means in the middle. OK, all right. For the beak of our owl here, if you hear string instruments, which are like a violin or a cello, OK, and they have like a very smooth sound. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's lots of strings in there. OK. So if we hear string instruments, we are going to color it orange. If we do not hear stringed instruments, we're going to call, color it brown. So remember the hint I gave you, okay? All right, for our owl, gray and blue is if the dynamics stay the same. And purple and blue is if the dynamics change. Now, here's a question for you. If the dynamics stayed the same, would I have changed the volume on my music so that I could talk to you and so that you could hear me? Hmm, another clue, okay? Now, for the leaves on the tree, blue means that I hear singers. Brown is that I do not hear singers, okay? So that one's going to be easier for you to pick out because you can hear when someone is singing over a piece of music with the instruments, right? You can hear their voices, just like you can hear me talking over the music right now. You can hear singers over the music, okay? I'm going to turn this down again one more time. Oh my goodness, it got so much louder. All right. Now, so for this week, that's all I need you to do as we start to learn about John Williams. We are going to take a few weeks and learn and listen. Um, we are going to um, work together. Hopefully, after April break, we can come back to school together and we can work on this together. If not, just we'll send stuff back home um, and be ready to go. And we will learn together either online or in school. I hope that you guys are well. I hope that you are staying safe and I will see you soon. Bye.